but I feel like everybody else is like an MF Tyler or something, or a Joseph, and it gets it gets a, hard, to be yeah. a lot. Yeah, it is. Branding is important. It is. As it, as it turns out. So. Oh, it's Guko Black. Okay, okay. Well, we see the reference. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what he's going for. Yeah, I haven't watched that part of Dragon Ball where, like, he transforms from Super Saiyan to Black. I don't know what that is. I haven't seen any of Super, actually. Yeah, I think that's where that's from. But I'm pretty yes. sure it's probably stronger than Super Saiyan 3, right? They wouldn't go... Well, they yeah, wouldn't go I weaker. Mean, they, they, well, that could be the plot twist. <laughs> this is a halfway point. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... I love this matchup. Yeah, this is actually a super entertaining matchup. Because Fox can really... They can just do away with each other. Yeah. And, of course, Mega Armada has ingrained in our minds. Well, what kind of angle we got? We got a straight angle. Tourney winner, not a good look. Tourney winners get sh super snuffed out by Peach too. Dude, especially over 100. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bad look. Got blessed right there, but. Yeah, that'll do it. Good snipe, Super Mr. JMT. Did you start with the Super? Are they both Dragon Ball references? What's going on here? I mean, I don't know of any Mr. JMT. The a, Super. Well, I mean, that could be a lot of things. Ah, no, it's Dragon <laughs> it's Ball. It's just Dragon Ball? Yeah, Dragon Ball okay. is Super. Come on, get with the times, Reeve. That's true. So, Guko, not to be confused with Goku, yeah. um, has done three straight firebox angles, like straight at him. Yeah. So, I wonder if he's going to... I want you to focus on one thing. I think it's going to happen. Okay. Guko loves falling up airs. In fact, a lot of foxes do. It's very cool. Yeah. And it can get a lot. I'm gambling that he's going to falling up air and get absolutely destroyed by down, get, smash. Like, CC down smash. It is so dangerous to do against Peach it is. at any point where a crouch cancel is uh, is viable. You know what that interaction right there just tells me? Oh, is that he's not very confident with his edge guards. Like, did you see how late he was? He's probably been hurt one too many times by a parasol going down for a shine. Sure. We've all been there, all of us a, box players. If you're counting at home, that is the fourth straight angle. Yeah. Firebox. It's just something to keep in mind. If I'm super Mr. JMT right now, that is definitely in the back of my head. What are you doing to cover it? What are you What are you changing? As far like what am I what am I changing? Yeah, yeah. No, well, as super Mr. JMT, what are you? Oh, sorry, I mean, what are you I'm changing to it? I'm starting to put out hitboxes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm starting to to meet the Firefox. Put out the candle, you know. Yeah, I feel that. That was clean movement. Clean. Dude, everyone is just so clean now. You notice that? Yeah, it's almost upsetting how everyone's able to move so nicely. Yeah, there, there's no. I mean, there are some still, but there's so many just hidden bosses now. Absolutely. And in like a level of, not quite a boss, but a hidden henchman. A hidden, uh, yeah. Whatever you want to call it, I guess. You're like a. You're like the the gatekeeper, the troll sure. that guards the the PR of your region or yeah, whatever. Right, like a right. bunch of those. Then the PR in your region's like all hidden bosses. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I remember when I first started, like, I learned shield dropping very early. Uh-oh. Oh. oh Good jab. Nice spacing. Did he land? Oh, he... What a clinic! Right. That, was some, that was, yeah, that was actually just nice. And Super Mr. JMT gives himself a little pop-off. Everything there. Well-deserved. Well-deserved. Was beautifully done. I haven't been in the scene lo long, but I remember a time four years ago where I learned shield dropping early, and that would just beat people. Dude, I remember that too. I actually remember <laughs> like literally like, people just hit you on the platform, you shield drop, and you just punish. I, I remember there was a point where like you know I would go to like our our regionals and stuff, and I knew I would get to a certain point in bracket, literally just brain dead shield dropping. Yeah. I knew that I could turn my brain off and shield drop aerial, and no one knew what to do. Yeah, I remember played thing. violence. Eric Lee. Yeah. He was like an violence. old school player, Sam and I great. and I just hit him with shield drops, and it was like it was like. Yeah, what do you do? <laughs> he just did. It was for you. Just didn't know. Just but see, now it's, now everyone is on it. Now they've he knows. Now everyone that. knows. Yeah. yeah. Now not only does everyone know, it's all like everyone's doing slide off now. Yeah. So that's the new flavor of the month. So, like you gotta, you just gotta adapt. And the thing is, though, it, it you know, you can't be so telegraphed now, though, because all you know, once everybody started getting used to everyone shield dropping. Yeah. It's so easy to to snuff it out. Omsa so. the next wave. Well, yeah, exactly, it is. That people are going to hop on. I think it's already, it's it's well on its way to being the next thing. It's hit the top players. I don't think it's hit the the, the mid uh, quite as much as shield dropping has. Mm. Ooh. I don't know what Super Mr. JMT covered, but it looked like nothing on that upbeat. 
Still gets the stock, though. I like how he's dealing with uh, invulnerability, though. Or, like, a uh, yeah. respawn invulnerability. I feel like it's a, an under talked about point of yeah. melee. Whenever somebody's coming back. Yeah, like yeah, everyone has to deal with it. It's true. And depending on what character you're fighting. Oh, no, Guko. It's so hard to come back from that. It's pretty mentally defeating, right? Like, 100%. Especially if he, if he gets down smash, it's like, oof. Yep, it's over. That's, yeah. Cleans it up. But I don't think he's phased right now. Which is good. I mean, this is a hefty deficit to deal with with two stocks of Peach Crouch canceling. That's that's rough. He's just going for he's just going for the safe stuff. Yeah. Drill shine, which is good. But oh, he he, I think he missed up the L cancel or something, or just didn't get the shine out in time off the nair. But not too bad of a, di uh, a down smash. All right, go 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 go. Yeah, he's moving. Guko. Dude. If he wins, we'll call him Goku, right? Like, yeah. That's how it works. He evolves. He yeah. changes his tag. <laughs> it just, like, changes in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so, yeah. Ooh, I think, dangerous. I think Mr. JMT is he's feeling the pressure, dude. He knows he's one stock away. He's definitely sweaty. He actually just stood on the platform for quite a while there. Probably wanted to do some input. But Guko also, that's not the angle he wanted. Oh! Has Guko side beat once as a recovery? Oh! Uh, there it is. He should have stick to the up Bs. The one time I, I mentioned it, I think I jinxed him. The last three recoveries, he stopped up being snapping to ledge. I mean, I, the first one he missed. He missed the snap to ledge, then he went straight in, and then he side bead. I think he just got a little bit flustered.